All right. I, this should be a pretty quick one here, but I just have a couple of, a few shapes here. And there are a couple of geometry symbols that if you've never seen them before or don't know what they mean, then a lot of the stuff we're talking about is not going to make much sense to you. So I want to make sure that you understand what's going on here. Uh, in this very first one we have is we have, um, and you'll learn about this in this section actually, we have an isosceles triangle. A lot of times, if you see a picture of a shape, they won't write down what the actual measurements are. Uh, they'll just put some lines on it to show that the sides are the same. Uh, so for instance, in this isosceles triangle, uh, AB is the same as AC. They're the same length. You'll see this a lot. A line through here and a line through here. If they have a line through them and it's the same amount of lines, like one line and one line, that means they're the same. And then down here they might do this, showing that this has two lines through it, so it's different than those. These lengths are the same while this one is different. Something else you might see. Uh, I know that angle B... We just call it angle B because that's the vertex. That would be that. Uh, and angle C are the same. Okay. Sometimes they won't come right out and tell you that. They'll do this. They'll draw a little arc right here. And then they'll draw a little arc right here. Uh, if they both have that one arc drawn in it, that means that they are the same measurement or they're the same angle. Okay. Maybe it's, you know, 70 degrees and 70 degrees, okay? Up here, you might have this. You might have two arcs drawn there to show that this is different than this one. Other ways that they'll show this, uh, to show that AB is equal to AC, they might do this. Here's AB, so that would be like a segment. So we could do segment AB, and we could just put segment AB is equal to uh, segment AC. That's something else they might do. Uh, we might do, to show those two are equal, we might do angle B is equal to angle C. Those are just things that you'll, you'll see. Okay. Now if I go up here, I'm going to do the same thing but show you this on a scalene triangle where all the sides are different and all the angles are different. Uh, they might put one line through here, two lines through here, and three lines through here to show that this length is different than this length, which is different than this length. They might also do uh, D having one arc, angle D, angle E having two arcs, and angle F having three arcs, showing that those are all different angles. Okay. Uh, other things you might see here. We, it says on here that DF, so segment DF, which is just right here, D to F, is not equal to, because they're different than uh, segment EF. Okay, so I'll put this on here. How you would probably see this is, they might put an equal sign in the middle with a slash through it. That just means not equal to. Okay? If we look at from an angle perspective, angle E is not the same as angle D. We've got two lines here, or two arcs here, and one arc here. Uh, so I could put this down, I could go angle E, I could put angle D, put the equal sign, and then put the slash through it that shows that those are not the same, or they're not equal. Okay. Down here, this is an equilateral triangle, so you're probably going to see one line through all of them, just meaning they're all the same. Uh, and you might see one arc because all those angles are going to be 60 degrees. They're all going to be the same. Uh, this last one, I drew a rectangle here. Some things you might see. You might see this little right angle thing. Uh, that just means it's a right angle. They may just put it in one corner, but we could put it in all of the corners. That means we've got all right angles. Uh, you're probably going to see something like this. One line here and one line here. And then two lines here and two lines here. Those two lines are the same. Uh, these two lines are the same. Uh, you can see all the other stuff with the equal to and not equal to. Something else you might see. Um, the parallel and perpendicular might be something you see. So if we take segment KJ and we take segment LM. Those are equal lengths, so we could do that. But we could also do this. 
those two up and down lines. We talked about this already, but that means parallel. Okay, We could say KJ is parallel to LM. Uh, one more thing that you might see for a picture like this. Uh, we'll just keep the same. We'll keep KJ, and then we'll take KL. K to L, segment KJ, segment K to L. These two, if you think about it, when they come together, they make a square angle. They make a right angle, 90 degree angle. So we may put this. That's a sign for perpendicular. Those two segments are definitely perpendicular. So these signs are all things that you should be familiar with as we go through this process.